All right, Angelica, your first name, please. Your last name. Angelico Cordell. Spell it. A N G E L I C O D. And you're from where? I'm from the Delco. And you are how old? I'm 19 years old. And your school name? Angelico Cordell. Okay. All right. So uh, first of all, tell me about your responsibility on your team. Um, on my team, I'm one of the researchers for the digital rights management team, and. From that perspective, I'm doing the part of interviewing people from the music industry since our website is about um, the, the legality issues and the controversial issues of digital rights management. I've interviewed people from Outdoor Attempt and Deeper Records to get their side and you know, like how, how, how they go about these issues with the young people downloading stuff from the internet and using it on their iPods and PDAs. So when you started this competition or this project, were you interested in the technology or were you interested in the topic? Um, I am interested in both. That's why I actually liked when I was offered to, to do my part. It's perfect. Now, um, tell me about the interviews. Um, I mean, you're a young man and that's an important part of your, of your website. So were you intimidated or nervous or how did you find that experience of preparing for an interview of somebody who's a professional? Uh, first of all, it's very difficult to like appoint people from there to, to be interviewed. It like, took me two months or three months to have an appointment with them. So it's kind of hard, but when I interview them, it, they're like just normal people speaking to me and getting the information is actually quite fun and interesting because you know that even if they are doing this stuff like for for example, the after H Emmy interview, I realized that the the person I'm interviewing, his son also has some files and some music on their Kazaa, Bear Share and other B2B um, e or file to file sharing on the internet. So it's quite interesting to know their side too. They're both professional and personal side of their story. Um, how do you feel like that experience of having done that will affect you as you become a working professional? I think that will like um, teach me that like it is not it is not just because you are working for a big company that it will have to be something that something big or something perfect. But like you can you can be normal and you can be you can be doing stuff that other people do even if it is a little bit off to what you are working for. Now, um, what do you see? the role of the Oracle Education Foundation in this competition? I think um, Oracle Education Foundation is a very good role model for other big companies out there who are receiving buckets or tons of money every day and like being responsible for their corporate social responsibility is something that I really praise and I really, really would like to commend for other people. <coughs> Pardon me. Why do you, why do you think that's important? Uh, cause if you, if, for example, an Oracle, Oracle as a company is already big, they should like do something to give it back to the community for the CSR, corporate social responsibility part of their, of their company. So, so that people will not just buy things from you. It's, people will also learn from you and from, from your foundation. Just like what Oracle Education Foundation is doing for ThinkWorks. Um, right now, ThinkQuest is a, is a website building competition, yeah. essentially, right? But what do you think it could be in the future? Mm, perhaps, aside from being a competition, it can be another um, subsidiary of the foundation itself. It can be something independent and, and even bigger into some other projects, which probably can be better. Thank you very much. Okay. Very well, well done. Yeah, nice.